this is a hopefully short movie showing you how to program one of these POV clock things uh, using an Arduino uh, Uno as a programmer. So here we've got an Arduino Uno. Uh, so I fire it up and the uh, notice that we're on COM12, obviously set you set yourself to your normal UNO settings, make a note of the COM port number. Uh, we want to open uh, this POV programmer sketch I've written. Details for all this will be on the, uh, the links in the video and uh, on the website. Oh, it's a very simple um, sketch that basically just copies the serial port uh, of the uh, Arduino and hence the PC over to the POV program and powers it up at the appropriate time. Now on the POV there are four pins here which go ground, uh, receive, transmit uh, and plus five volts. And in programming mode it doesn't use very much power so we can use just an ordinary you know, uh, pin to power it. And the ones I've chosen for this sketch to make it easy to plug on are uh, A2, A3, A4 and A5. So we put this sketch into the uh, Arduino. And you can see, much like blink, it, it blinks the uh, LED to say that it's in sort of idle mode. And we can plug it on now. So we use the last four analog pins there and plug them onto that port. Uh, and we're done with the Arduino program now. So I'll just move this out so you can perhaps see the screen a bit better. So now we need to install the programmer um, program and the uh, the hex file that we're going to uh, upload. So uh, I uh, I'd go to my website, go to this page, and download the the programmer zip. It's not very big, uh, and we want uh, open the zip file. I normally copy these things to the uh, to the desktop while I'm installing them. I don't know if you need to or not. So now we can install that. Yeah, it's not very fired. Install it anyway. Install. So now we can... Uh, well, it runs by itself anyway. So we've got to tell it what COM port we're on and we were on COM12. And so now, um, I'll put this back here, I can do uh, read chip info and if it's all good it'll tell us what sort of chip we've got. Chip info. Do we need that set? Yeah, there we go. So I don't know whether that's really necessary, but I clicked on the set high speed 6T mode, read chip info, and you see it knows that we've got an STC 89, blah blah blah, with a about an 11 meg crystal. And I don't know if you noticed, but the uh, the UNO LED blinks normally to say it's in standby. And when I do read chip info or whatever, it comes on solid to say that it's powered the board up. 
and once it has powered it up it keeps it powered up for about 20 seconds um, and then it will go back to blinking again. So now we need the uh, hex file. So again on my website and go and get the uh, go and get the hex file. So right click, uh, save as, yeah, stick it on the desktop, that's fine. So we've got the hex file now. So uh, yeah, finish with the internet browser. So in this program we click on this uh, hex file and we're going to navigate to the desktop where we're already there. Find the uh, hex file we want. There it is, povclock.hex, open. And you can see it, it displays the, the hex file here. We can make that bigger if we want. Uh, yeah, well, not that it's very interesting anyway, but... Uh, Right, so uh, now we're ready to program it to the chip. So it's the same, but make sure we've got high speed mode set because this program is uh, designed to use the high speed. And then click on upload to the chip. And we should see uh, a sequence of flashes and things on here as it communicates. It takes maybe 10 or 15 seconds. There we go. And you can see a progress bar on the screen. It's writing the data to the chip. Don't know whether something's gone wrong there part of the way through. I'll probably have another go at uploading that because I don't think that completed that time. So we've got back to a blinking uh, light on here. This seems to have gone wrong part of the way through, so we'll just close it down, start it up again. Uh, STC programmer and upload. Hmm. Yeah, I think I know what's going wrong here. Probably it's drawing more power from the uh, Arduino than we can reliably supply through the uh, USB cable. So bear with me a moment uh, and I'll go and get a, a power adapter to plug into the Arduino as well. Okay, so we'll plug this... Uh, Power supply into the Arduino, give it a bit more oomph and have another go. So what was it? Uh, oops. Uh, we want our STC programmer program. We've already got all the data there. Uh, Arduino is blinking, upload to the chip. There we go, I think we're cooking on gas this time. So there we are, the progress bar has gone all the way along. It's saying there, I don't know if you can see on the video, but it's saying programming complete. So we're finished, so we can uh, shut that down if we want to. Uh, unplug the uh, Arduino. And the battery here, let's see if it works. out of the way. There we go. So uh, I'll maybe show you how to set the time again now because um, the last video was a bit blurry. Hopefully we're on fixed focus this time. So stop it spinning round and we can see on the computer, well I can anyway, it's 14.58 at the moment, so I want to set it to 14.59 uh, will do. So illuminate that. 
one flash to tell it 10 hours, wait for two LEDs, one, two, three, four, that sold it with 1400, wait for three LEDs, one, two, three, four, five, that's 1450, wait for four LEDs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I've gone to 9 because the time's already moved to 14.58. So if we're going to set it accurately. We get, wait for this pattern. When we get to 14.59, switch on. And there we go. We're set to 14.59. It's uh, scrolling some text. Uh, the Yeah, the, the sort of scene between the red text and the blue text hasn't stabilised yet, I don't think. It will do. It eventually uh, gets the dividing line between the two uh, coloured bits of text lined up with the uh, LED, which it has done now. And the top row with the time on just goes, goes around slowly so you can see from all angles. So there you have it. Uh, any questions put them in the comments and I'll try and answer them. Thank you.